Is this an ending a diagonal? Is this a nearly a wave ending a diagonal? We are a monthly chart of uh, Illumina Incorporation, EPIC ILMN, Indian Lima Mike November. This is a nice that hundred components. On a monthly chart, we can see from 2009 when the S&P 500 and other major stock indices have started a bullish trend. At this point in time, we will start counting the first area wave from here. All right? So we will. So market start was bullish for 2009. We are trading first the market. So that's why I put my vertical line here. This is the reference point for all wave counters. So we start counting and say this is the first wave. All right, we say first wave. All right, and then we will say this is, okay, the second wave. All right, now in that case, then we will say this is the third wave followed by the fourth wave. Now, as we come here, we say this is the fourth wave. We will notice straight away that the fourth wave is overlapping the first wave. Therefore, we will discount this wave count straight away and know that this is an invalid wave count because the fourth wave should not overlap okay, the first wave. The wave count is dynamic. So at this point in time, we see this uh, first wave. We will say, what kind of first wave is this? because the characteristic of the first wave is to break resistance on the left hand side. This one did not. So therefore, at that point in time, we will put a question mark on this uh, first wave. So we will continue to count our wave and say, okay, this is the second wave and this is the third in your wave. But as we reach this level and we see now this is the fourth wave, we will notice straight away that uh, this wave count is invalid wave count. Therefore, we will Go back again and start counting when, all right? So, because there is a violation of, okay, a nearly wave principle, the fourth wave has overlapped the first Elliott wave. So let's start again a fresh counting wave. At this time, we say, all right, probably this is the first wave, all right? So let's say we see, we suppose another trader say, this is the first wave from here, all the way up here now and then we will say in therefore the second wave okay is this one here all right but one more time if you look carefully you can see that all right the first wave has been cancelled by the second wave therefore this is again a violation of the wave principle all right you see the second wave has cancelled the first wave if one consider the price action from here all the way up here as the first wave. Therefore, there is a cancellation of uh, the first wave. If the second wave cancels the first, if the second wave cancels the first wave, we will restart counting wave. Therefore, we cannot label the price action from here all the way up here as the first wave and this is not the second wave. We will remove one more time. We will declare that that wave count is invalid, okay? This is what we are talking about. The wave count is dynamic. So as the price starts going down, we, go, we just start labeling, labeling the price action but then if there is a violation, you will know straight away that the wave count is invalid. And then we reassess again, okay, the price action, and we continue to count wave, all right? I'm going to remove, okay, my line here, and I'm going to continue to count my wave. Now it becomes clear to me that uh, my, my first uh, wave count was invalid, okay? So the first wave has been counted by the second wave let's start counting wave one more time first wave from here to here but look at this first wave the characteristic of the first wave is to break resistance on the left hand side well 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 this one did not cancel resistance on the left hand side 
Therefore, we will put a big question mark on this first earlier wave. But we continue to count the wave. We know that this is a little bit a strange uh, first wave, but we continue to count the wave. So second wave. Now the third area away from here all the way up here. Okay, is there a violation of the wave principle? No. Now let's continue to count wave. This is the fourth wave right here. Is there a violation of the wave principle? No. The second wave did not cancel the first wave. And the third area wave is not, okay, the shortest wave, but the shortest impulsive wave so far, all right? And the fourth wave did not overlap the first wave. So far, everything looks good. Here we are. We see now uh, the, the fifth wave, all right? The fifth wave is from here all the way up here, which is a kind of a strange a fifth wave that is uh, confined in a triangle. So this is the fifth wave in that uh, triangle. The question that I have for traders today, is this an ending a diagonal? What is an ending a diagonal? What are the internal waves of an ending a diagonal? What? So if you do not know what is an ending diagonal, all right, the ending diagonal is uh, a strange a fifth area wave with an internal wave free, 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 free. The first manual wave of the ending diagonal is subdivided into three. The second wave, the third wave, the fourth manual waves. And the fifth manual waves of the ending diagonal are also subdivided into three, giving us an internal wave, three, 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 three. The ending diagonal is a fifth wave that has been subdivided into, okay, a five manual wave. Those five manual waves, okay, have a three Okay, mono waves, right? And the ending diagonal is also confined in a triangle. The question I have for traders is this an ending diagonal? So now that we have finished to count our wave count, there is no violation. We have a question mark here is this an ending diagonal? Traders who are trading this uh, stock, Illumina Incorporation, okay, will now switch their attention to the price itself. Our wave count is now finished. In our view, the fifth wave has finished, and there is a high chance that a correction may begin. But we don't want to, to get too excited like uh, the old way traders were using the wave principle. Anything is possible. The price went up to the level of 21952. Now it's at a cycle point. Well, what is a cycle point? Here it is, the price uh, turned around, okay, 180 degrees. Uh, return back to the starting point. So it starts going now, forming the fifth wave. Now it's at a cycle point. Anything is a possible, is possible. Therefore, the prime may bounce up again and start forming a consolidation between the level of a 21952 and the level of a 13216. Traders must also pay attention to the midpoint okay, of the consolidation in the zone of 17416. This is one scenario after the fifth wave. The prime may continue to consolidate here before coming down okay there may be a consolidation because we have a cycle point here all we can say to traders at this point in time because we are at a cycle point is priority to bullish signals above the level of one three two one six and priority to bearish signal below the level of one three two one six one is looking for a bullish trading setup above one three two one six and one will implement a top-down trading method to trade it. On the other hand, if one wants to sell below the 13216, 
one must find a valid bearish trading setup, for instance, breaks below 13216, retest 13216, and turn around, okay, at that point. And then one will use a top down trading method to trade it. If one is selling, one will also notice, okay, multi talented trading, a head and shoulder chart pattern that is formed here. Can you see it on the chart? Though we are area wave traders, we are multi talented traders. When we are using the area wave, we should not forget anything else. We should concentrate on the price itself, the number one indicator. So this is the left hand side shoulder, this is the head, and this is the right hand side shoulder. Professional traders who notice that pattern, if they want, if they are selling, all right, if they are selling, they will measure the height of this uh, consolidation here, which means from the head to the neckline of the head and shoulder chart pattern. This is the neckline, which is also equal to the cycle point in this case. They will measure the height of uh, the head and shoulder chart pattern and project it down. Their ultimate bearish target is in the zone of uh, 5212. The midpoint bearish target is at a 9446. Is this a nearly a wave ending a diagonal? We hope you will find this video also useful and will put into use uh, to make an excellent uh, a wave a trading a decision. We are the TSTW24 traders talking about is this a nailier wave ending a diagonal. We wish you the very best in your trading and until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. Speak to you soon.